Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this Create and Craft card making project for the Spellbinders die from the Thoughtful Expressions range and this one's called Layers of Floral. Now I've picked this one because there's three dies in the set however all three dies work together to create a layered effect and I just want to show you the dies because to look at them when you first use them if you've just purchased the die and maybe not seen how to use them when you die cut them you'll think oh they look a bit odd so I thought it's going to be easier to show you how to put them together so then you've got a good idea how it all works so you've got three dies the first of the dies which looks the strangest is the base die and this one will give you a die cut that looks something like that well it will look exactly like that Apart from it, it might be in a different colour cardstock, whatever you use. So I've used plain black cardstock for my base layer. And that's the one that I think if you just buy the die set and you don't know how it works, you're going to think, well, I've no idea what that one does. But that's your base. So the second of the three dies is the middle layer. And this one looks a little bit more like something with the gorgeous florals and the leaves and the vines. So that's your second layer that when it's die cut looks like that. Now I've used Create and Craft mirror board for, the, for this set because I just think it's going to work so well and look quite striking without being too bright. I wanted muted colours and these are going to work really well. So that's the middle set and then the last layer, now this is the fancy one, and this is the one as soon as you see it you'll go, oh yeah, that's pretty. And because this one is so pretty and they all work so well together, that's what makes them gorgeous. So that's how our last layer looks. And that's how that die cuts. Again, this is Create and Craft Mirror Board in a gorgeous dusky pink. In the set of the mirror board you get so many different colours and they're all kind of a dusky um, mirror effect. Work well with your die cutting and with your embossing. I've die cut this layer and I've also embossed it as well. So let's make something with these because then you'll see exactly how they work. So I'll just pop my dies back in the packet. Now the first thing I've done is I've made a card out of the mirror board and this is five by five inches so I've literally, I'm sorry, five and a half by five and a half so I've literally taken a sheet of the A4 and I've cut it down to five and a half inches by eleven inches and then I've folded it in half and I've used my bone folder to make a nice sharp score along the edge. Now this layer is simply general black cardstock. So always handy to have in your stash. And I've simply added double sided tape on the back of it. And this layer is going to fit perfectly on the front of our card to make our first layer. Now our next layer is from the mirror board again and this is a lilac card rather than the dusky pink at the beginning and I've made this to fit for the next layer but before I put it on my card I'm just going to add a piece of ribbon through the centre of it now I've already cut the ribbon and I've got double sided red tape on the back of it and I'm simply going to just put that through the centre of our card and then I'm going to wrap it round so it hooks on to the back. I've got double sided tape already on this layer and I can add this to our card for the next layer. There we go. All about matting and layering. If you get your base card, nice mats, mats and layers on there, it will show anything off perfectly. And the dark layer of the black will draw the eye in. 
So that's my first layer, uh, my first two layers and my ribbon across the centre. So I'm going to put that to one side for now because we're just going to make our layers for the die cuts. So we have the three dies and the three different layers. So I'm going to start off with the base layer and then I'm going to take the next one, the middle layer, and I've cut these out in the mirror board, the same mirror board that we used to make the card, the base card, and I'm simply adding a little bit of glue, I'm using glossy accents, and I'm just dotting it about on the back in different places. There's a lot of places that are wide enough for you to be able to get the glue on so that's good now the main thing is to make sure you get everything the right way around because they marry up perfectly like that so you can see the shadow of the black from the bottom layer and I'll just press that down now I'm just going to do the same with the other side because I want two lots of this so again a little bit of wet glue on the back so it can take hold just keep going with that there we go and again match it up and it will just sit perfectly over the bottom layer there we go squeeze it together so the glue starts to hold on to it so those are our first two layers and then we've got our third layer for the top so again we're going to add a little bit of glue on the back and again there's enough places to be able to add the glue and then we can marry it up and add layer on layer and then it comes to life because you can see the colours of each layer, the shadow at the bottom, the middle layer and then that pink top layer. And I think that colour combination just looks so pretty. So I'm just going to do the same for our second one, which is exactly the same as the one we've just done. Just add a little bit of glue in places so that it will take hold nicely. There we go. And marry it up. There we go. And again, it just looks so pretty. I really like this black, pink and lilac combination. So those are our two panels. And now we can go back to our card and we can add our panels to the front of our card. So all I'm going to do for this is again add a little bit of glue on the back in various places and then I can add this there we go that's about it I can add this to the front across the ribbon that we've added like that and then I can just wipe that little bit of excess glue away there we go, press it down and then I can do exactly the same with the other side, try and get that one straight Anne-Marie, there we go, yep, wipe that tiny bit of glue away and do the same for the other side, add the glue, so we've used all three of the dies 
to create gorgeous panels and you can imagine the colour mixes that you'd be able to get using you know colours of your choice so I just picked these because they just oh they were so pretty in the pack um, I love the pink and the lilac combination mind you I have to admit I nearly used the green because pink and green to me always just sing so so those are our two panels on the card now at this point you can always add a sentiment I'm just going to finish it off with a little bow and the bow is the same ribbon as I used underneath and it could be any ribbon of your choice and that just makes such a pretty card with those layers all from one set of dies so it oh, it just looks so good and it would look so great with other combinations as well so I really hope this has given you a little bit of inspiration and a few ideas and most of all how to use the three layers so I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time